Hi, today we are going to learn how to set up user time credits. The plugin CM Appointments Booking allows you to manage and display multiple calendars with open spots for visitors to book. It is also possible to set up time credits for specific registered users. Before start, we recommend you to configure the base plugin and create your first calendar if you haven't done it yet. You can learn more about it in our another video, as in this video we will cover only how to set up time credits for specific users, how to create a user dashboard and how this feature works for the user side. So how this feature works? The user will be able to book appointments only for definite amount of time according to the defined for him limit. The admin can add or deduct time credits. The user has a dashboard where he can view available time credits, view all admin operations with adding and deducting time credits, view all his time credit bookings and reject them. Rejecting the appointment returns the time credits that were spent for it to the user. Now let's start configuring the time credits feature and see how it all works step by step. First thing we need to configure is the time before the time credit booking when the user is able to reject it. To do this, navigate to CM Appointments Booking Pro – Options. Head to the Plugin Options tab. Find there the option Send email to reject booked credit time before. In this field, you need to put the amount of hours that the user will have before the beginning of an appointment to reject it. We will talk about the rejection a little bit further. When you configured this option, click the button Save Changes. Now it's time to enable time credits. Time credits are enabled and defined individually for chosen registered users. To do this, navigate to Users – All Users. Hover on the needed user and click Edit. Find there the section Time Credits User Control and enable the option Allow Credit Time for User. A few new options will appear there. Enter Time. Choose the amount of minutes that you want to add or deduct from the user. Click the button Add Time to Credit to add chosen amount of minutes to the user. Or click the button Deduct Time from Credit to deduct chosen amount of minutes from the user. Time Credit Amount This field shows total amount of time that was added to the user. This value increases when the admin adds minutes and decreases when the admin deducts minutes. Time Balance This field shows the amount of time that is currently available for the user. This value increases when the admin adds minutes and decreases when the admin deducts minutes or when the user spends this time for booking appointments. When you finished operations with the time credits, click the button Update user to save the changes. Logged in users with enabled time credits feature can access the dashboard with detailed info about all actions. The user dashboard page can be generated in two ways. When you install and activate the plugin, the user dashboard page is generated automatically, or you can create your own page and place there the short code that you can see on the screen. For the convenience of your users, you can add the page to the menu of your site. Only users with turned on time credits feature can access the user dashboard. The dashboard consists of two parts. Upper part contains general info about the user and info about his time credits. The user can see there the following – user login, user email, current credit – this is total amount of time credits that was added by the admin – and current balance – this is available amount of time credits that the user can spend for booking. Lower part has two tabs – bookings and credits. In the bookings tab, the user can see all bookings he made using time credits. There are four columns in the table. Event, date or time – the date and time of the booked appointment. Duration – the duration of the booked appointment. Event status – the status of the booked appointment. Can be either accepted, passed, rejected, trash and other. Event action – this column contains the cancel button. This button won't be displayed in three cases. If the appointment is already rejected or deleted, if the time when the user could reject the appointment has passed, or if the appointment date and time has already passed. After rejecting the appointment, the user will be added the amount of minutes that were spent for this booking. We will talk about the cancel button more detailed further. In the second tab, credits, the user can see all information about admin operations with adding and deducting time credits to the user. 
Above the table, the user can see the information about his current balance, available amount of time credits that he can spend for bookings. The columns in the table are the date and time of the transaction, the operation that the admin has committed, either added minutes or removed minutes, the amount of minutes that was added or deducted, total amount of minutes that the user received from the admin, and available amount of minutes that the user can spend for booking. When the user clicks the Cancel button, it will be replaced by the message Rejection in progress. The admin gets an email notification that the user wants to reject the appointment. The admin can also see that message on the booking editing page. By the way, the admin can change the subject and body of the email notification in plugin settings in the Email Templates tab. There are two ways how the admin can cancel the booking. First, to cancel the appointment, the admin needs to click the Reject button in the Metabox status and click the Update button. Second, in the list of all bookings, the admin can use either the button Quick Edit while hovering on Needed Booking or the relevant button Reject. As a result, the status of the booking will be changed on the user dashboard and the user will be added the amount of minutes that were spent for this booking. When the user tries to book an appointment, there can be two cases. First case, when the user has enough time credits for a booking. Above the submitting form, the user can see the amount of minutes that will be spent for this booking, current amount of minutes that he can spend, and the amount of minutes that will remain after making this booking. Second case, when the user doesn't have enough time credits for a booking. In this case, he will see the relevant message above the submitting form. Following instructions found in the plugin and guides, you should be able to set up time credits for specific registered users. Thanks for watching the video. 